step and razor. I understand what that is. Yeah. The first My time I heard of step and razor dude. was about 11 years ago when you guys played a show at the loft. Remember the loft? In, the in, in Bridge, it was in Bridgeport or Norristown. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's a long time ago. But anyway, you guys just had the most incredible set I've ever seen you play. Okay. 31 years in the making for the CD to be released. Yes. Can you explain that? Uh, basically, what happened was uh, back when the band was at its peak, back, I want to say 1988, 1989, we tried to make a, a demo and uh, it, it got mixed and then mixed again and then mixed again to where it was basically just horrible. And basically, the band kind of broke up over it. So, so, so. so so, a new lineup. A, a new, yeah. Actually, <laughs> my kids were like, Dad, you need a hobby. So I was like, <laughs> You need a hobby. And, and as we talked, we all talked, we said, Hey, let's try this again. And this time, let's yeah, actually put the CD okay. out. Okay. So we you recorded it the actually. right way. Uh huh. Where did you record it? A, a noisy Critter Studio. Where's that? It's in uh, Coatesville. Oh, my lord. There's lots of noisy, noisy critters in, in Coatesville. Yeah, you know that, it's right? It's a very nice little studio. Oh, well, that's cool. The noisy from, critters, the huh? from Duffy's Cut runs it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. See, you find something new every day. All right, let me just go around real quick. Your name and what you do? Uh, John Finn, uh, rhythm guitar player. Matt Harkin, vocals. Holy Panda, drums. Michelle Woodard, and I'm bass player and biggest fan ever. And cupcake maker. Cupcake maker. I didn't make the cupcakes. I made the razors. Do do oh, you made the razors and they were in the cupcakes. They were in the cupcakes. The razors in the cupcakes. Were, and they were on top. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, first, she's, first she you said that there were drugs in the cupcakes. Then there were razor blades. But I can't figure out which one would be better. And we um. Oh, I get one. <gasps> I want an extra one for my daughter. Um, we're in the middle of an interview. Are you in the band? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh my God! I'm right here, and I'm gonna, I got a lot of things to say. After all, this is the 191 TV. We usually do our interviews in a bathroom, and we usually have a piss boy. You can be our new piss boy. What? Buck was around. Buck was around. So is Buck in the is Buck in the band? Buck's fan. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, he's not. You could be the official piss boy. This guy lived across the street from me, though. I live on 66th Street. This guy lives on like. What, okay, so you guys are from where? South Philly? Uh, what's that? Where are you guys from? South Philly? I'm originally from Northeast Philly. Northeast Philly. West Philly. West Philly. Yeah. Philly. Panda, where are you from? Northeast. Northeast. Okay, you're from Philly. Mayfair. Mayfair. Yeah, Mayfair. And you're Holmesburg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Harbison and Boulevard. All right. That part of the city that was the other. There's the other guy right there. Look, he even has a cool looking car. He's a Mayfair boy too. He's got a, he's got a guitar with a curly cord and he's got this really, what is kind of car is that? It's a brand new car. What kind of car is that? What kind of car is that? It's a Rav 6. Oh Christ, it's a Toyota. It's a trap scrap. No, I'm like kidding. I don't I wish I could afford something like that. All right, Step and Razor, back to your interview. The, 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 um, the trick here is to get, it's down to a certain like, a doable length where people actually watch it. And I don't have to chop it up too much. But now we've got, we got uh, this guy, and we've got yeah, some Mex some Mexican guys, and we've got this guy's we got the Black Panther, oh, and we got oh, oh there he is right there. The Black Panda. All right, All right guys. Right, right, I feel like I'm teaching kindergarten again. When the cupcakes in the air, you need to stop talking. Made of vibranium. Yes. What's that? Um. What is that? Oh, oh, we have really. Oh, she's wonderful. I was going to say, no, not another person here. Uh, good cupcakes. Thank you so much. All right, we're now we're plugged in. We're going to start over again. Then he disappears. He disappeared. All right. What happened to him? Thank you so much. Thank you. I got my cupcake. Shiny went behind. All right. This is the Z191 TV shit show, and we're here with Step and Racer again. We got Paulie, Dan, Dan. Matt. Michelle. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Right? Five. Okay. 31 years. Are you guys all original members? I'm one. No. No. Dan's one. These guys. And John. And John. These three. You three? Yeah. Yeah. Originals? Yes. Yeah. You guys are all the same age? Yes. 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 We knew Michelle yes. Really? Back then. We knew yes. Michelle back then. We I was a fan. Ball. I used to take videos of them. They found me <laughs> eating a bowl five, of meatballs up the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? They yeah. found me eating meatballs. That's so funny. Yeah. I like meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> and gravy. <laughs> gravy. I mean, oh, you're definitely Italian. And cannolis. <laughs> I'm a cannoli girl for the first time. And tomato pie. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Let's now. go to Lorenzo's. Lorenzo's. <laughs> Lorenzo's. Lorenzo's.
Lorenzo. Lorenzo's are you? Okay. Lorenzo's with the Jewish lightning, right? Yeah. All right. Going home. We're not going to talk about Lorenzo's or before or after the fire. All right, guys. <laughs> Thirty-one years. You guys have known each other for how long? Have you been with these guys? Uh, two years. Two years. Oh wow, you just found him. Well, how was who was with you before? Jim Smith. Uh, yeah. Jim oh, that Smith. guy, really? Yeah, Jim was with us for. Oh, no, Jim, Jim was with us in the beginning, and one. I don't know who Jim Smith is. The second time around. So. Jim okay. Smith played with Stalin's daughter originally. With who? Then Stalin's daughter. I don't like her. And then um, he ended up joining <laughs> our band. And when we got back together in 2015, he uh, he was with us. Um, and great. he played with us for about a year and a half, maybe. Is this the guy that used to book over JRs? No. no. Okay. Good. Jim, Jim tore both rotator cuffs. Move. He's a male nurse. Moving somebody out of bed, and he ne really ne he never. He's a male nurse that just tore his rotator cuff, so he's a yeah. drummer and never hurt yeah, himself before. Yeah, and and his girlfriend kind of confided in us. Like Workers the, comp. Yeah, one of the yeah. reasons why he wasn't going to be a drummer anymore because he physically couldn't do it. Yeah. So we. And kinda, he's been diabetic. Yeah. Oh my God, this guy's a mess. Yeah, but, yeah. but no, no, no. Shout out to Rick Smith. I mean, my what's his name? We Rick love Jim? Holly. We love Jim. Mm. What's his name, Jim? Shout out to Jim, dude. I hope you're feeling okay. You got lots yeah, of Percocets. Yeah. I've known Jim since okay. actually since 1998. Really? He's best friends with one of my good friends. Yeah. Two degrees. Of it's two degrees of separation in the Philadelphia for music. If I don't know you, I know somebody who does. All right, guys. What's next? Another 31 years. You're all going to be 70. 82. 82. What's coming next? It's coming next. Uh, Keep moseying along. Yeah, keep moseying along. Uh, initially, in 2015, when we started it, I kind of started back up again. The, the premise was, all right, let's just do this till it isn't fun anymore. Yeah, you know, at some point, doing it's exactly. not fun. So, so if you're trying to do it to make a living, I mean, well, we no, all would love to do no. this to make a living. Let's get real. Yeah. But to really, it's a hobby. It's a hobby. You know, we all got kids, it's balls a, and chains. It is a hobby, and you know what? This, this network, we started a bunch of musicians. What we do is have a lot of fun. We really do. But we like to talk about, you know, local guys like yourselves that are awesome, and especially after 31 years. Holy crap. No. Now, look who was on the ticket. We had Thorazine. They've been around for yes. probably longer than you guys. Yeah. No. Actually, they, they were, we were before that. That's the same? Yeah. Really? It was a 90s band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they were we, 80s. We, definitely we started, started the 80s. We started in 87, yeah, we originally. 87. They got that together like us, too. I'm too young to know what 87 was like. And we, we played until 90. Yeah, Joanne, Joanne oh, just told me, I didn't know this, but she said, she said after when I was watching Step and Razor, that's kind of what inspired me to form a band. Really? Yes. Wow. wow. So she, she goes, I want to play music. So We're going to we check just, that fact. We, no, we did. We just talked about that tonight. <laughs> fact checker. So, it was impressive. Seriously, that's really cool. And, very, very cool. And, you know, and also the fact that, you know, being in a band, playing out in public, I mean, it really draws the, the ladies in, you know what I'm saying? I'm a single dad. Oh, he's a single dad. Who yeah, you got to kind of roll with it, you know? You're so, single? Yeah. You're single? I'm single. Yeah. I'm married. Figures. Married. Dan's married. Dan's married. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got two single. Then we can all go out and have fun, yeah. the three of us. How about that? <laughs> you guys can go home. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, so anyway, we'd love to have you on our show. I only have... I have about 30 more seconds of memory left, and these guys are like, thank God. Um, and I would love for you guys to come on our show, number one, um, for our Anarchy Barbecue. Impromptu. At the, at, the, uh, at, at Anarchy House. It's been renamed. Um, we don't know yet, but it'll be soon. Okay? But, um, and seriously. Is it potluck? Yeah. Okay. What's that? Is it potluck? It is anything you want it to be, as long as you, it doesn't involve animals or children. Vague in a bad way. Okay. So you're not going to cook? We're not cooking any animals? Oh, yeah, we're going to cook. We'll talk about this in a minute. All right. All right. We are going to put in some clips of your set, and you guys are amazing. Are you going to do another CD, another LPF?